Hi everybody. This video is going to be continuation of Amazon Poly tutorial I made. And in this time, we are going to add Oculus Lip Sync library on top of it to make a Red Player Me avatar, apply the animations on top of the face using the audio generated by Amazon Poly. So we are going to give it a text, turn that into audio and audio will play and the face is going to move accordingly. I am going to continue from the uh, project I made last time, the Polytest project. So to this project, I already added Red Player Me package. I assume you already know how to install it. You can go to redplayer.me and our documentation to figure out how to use it. And you can check the previous videos about how to bring the uh, package here. So I have everything here. Um, do not need to do much about that. I will go to Ready Player Me menu, Avatar Loader, and I can load an avatar from here. In this case, we will be dealing with some blend shapes. So I need to uh, move the face according to certain blend shapes. Oculus Vizems use Vizeme um, blend shapes and creating a Ready Player Me avatar config, we can actually set what type of avatar we want. I created a created one before I'm just going to delete that and go through how to create one with you like I showed you from the create context menu you can create avatar configuration in this case what we want is some of the morph targets and first of all which the one I'm going to add is oculus Vizems. this pretty much covers 15 Vizem blend shapes and right after that we will need a smile animation uh, blend shape so the smile blend shape com co that comes with Ready Player Me is called Mouth Smile. So I'll just go down here, find Mouth Smile, add that. On top of that, I would like to use the eye animations, uh, the extra script that comes with Ready Player Me to rotate and close and open the eye blend shapes to give it a little more natural feeling. So on top of this, I'm going to add I blink left and I blink right blend shape. So these four blend shapes are pretty much what we need. Uh, in this case, to reduce the size of the model a little, I'm going to pick a uh, high quality texture atlas and I'm going to remove occlusion, emission and metallic roughness texture channels. So we just have base color and normal at the moment. And finally, since we have quite many blend shapes, I'm going to select mesh optimization compression to reduce the avatar size even more. So this is pretty much our avatar config. I am going to go to Red Player Me settings and select this, uh, pick this avatar config and drop it into avatar config area in the UI. So I'm closing this window. Now, when I load the avatar uh, that I previously generated, it is going to be the avatar that uh, uses these settings and will come with the blend shapes. Let's wait for it. It's taking a short while and my avatar is here. So let's take a look at the uh, blend shapes of the avatar. So in the object that is instantiated in the scene, I can see renderer avatar. And in the skinned mesh renderer component, you can see we have all the blend shapes in order. So I have Vizem blend shapes, mouth smile, eye blink blend shapes already here. And let me, here is our camera. I already put it in a position that shows the face directly. So you can also- This is a test. This is also, you can also put it into the correct position, 0 0.5, 1.6. By the way, you also already heard uh, the project running the code. We prepared before so when the project starts it already uh, makes a request with the given message uses our credentials that i moved into another script so you cannot see it uh, we make a request with the given uh, voice id neutral engine and the message make a request uh, write the audio stream into a file then uh, we create platform specific path for it. So it works on Android and iOS as well. And then we download that audio from our local, append it into a audio clip and play it on the scene. So this is the reason when I run the scene, it is going to say, this is a test because this is the message in there. 
This is a text. The idea is that taking uh, these, taking control of this audio listener. So this is the pretty much the setup part for us that we need to do. And other than that, let me just remove the, sh make the gizmos a little smaller. So what is going to happen at this stage is that uh, I'm going to go to uh, Oculus website. Uh, I will drop the URL in the description. We are going to download the Oculus Lip Sync Unity package. Unfortunately, this package has not been maintained for a long while. Uh, last time it was uh, 2021 and yeah, no longer getting any updates. So we will need to do a couple of changes to uh, make it work with Red Player Me. I'm just downloading. You accept the agreement and uh, accept the license agreement and download it and you will get a package. I'm going to open this up and in this you will find the Unity plugin folder. You open it up. Let's go back into Unity. So we will import everything in this package. Let's wait a short while, get the package. The package is imported and now we have all the uh, components that we need to make the face move. So I'm going to go on to this uh, game object that we had the text to speech and the audio source already set. On it, I'm going to add uh, OVR, Oculus VR uh, context, uh, which requires the audio source. I'm going to set it here. And one thing I'm going to enable is audio loopback. So while it's using the audio, I also want it to play the audio. So it's not going to be just animation, but the audio together. Let's set this and then next component I'm going to add Oculus VR Morph Target. Uh, right now we are going to use Morph Targets, the blend shapes to move the face and we will need a skinned mesh render. Uh, when we checked the uh, uh, skinned mesh render component and the blend shapes were on the render avatar uh, object of the avatar. You can uh, drag and drop that or alternatively if you do not have any other, other avatar in the scene um, you can click there and it's gonna automatically find it. So we pretty much have everything set. Uh, it is going to get the first uh, 15 uh, blend shapes as Oculus Vizems and uh, 16th one will be uh, Smile, so which is here. And then eye blink left and eye blink right will be used by the um, eye animation handler component that comes with Ready Player Me. So what will happen if we run it just like this so the, this is a text was what we expect this is a text wow so we have a monster here whatever happened what was the problem um unity previously handled uh, blend shape values from 0 to 100 so normally the no value level would be 0 and maximum would be 100 and Oculus uh, VR plugin also uses that. However, right now, uh, our maximum to minimum is one to zero. So uh, what we will need to do is edit the Oculus VR scripts a little to handle this. So in the Oculus VR lip sync morph target script, I'm going to click on this three dots here and go to edit script. So we can go into the script itself. Um, we are not going to do much actually. We will find every place there is a hundred and turn it into one. So let's scroll down. So here we have check within key amount hundred. Let's make this one. Then here it applies, multiplies it with hundred. I'm going to make that one. Here there's another hundred one. And here there's another hundred make it one so um the best would be actually to maybe expose a parameter here for that and set that you can do it that way i just wanted to quickly go and make it one because well we are not going to use any other value anyways so this was just it a simple edit and let's go again and check what is going to happen this is a test all right this is beautiful so it generates the audio, plays the audio, and runs the animation on the face using Oculus VR. We can add more spice to this. 
um, if you want to continue watching the video let's go forward and do some more cool stuff so i can add here a input field i'm gonna go to legacy input field now here we have our canvas i'm going to set canvas scalar to scale with width and i'm gonna set my input field to the bottom here let's pad this 100 100 and maybe move it up a little and then i'm gonna cre create a button legacy button i'm using 2021 that's the reason it puts them under legacy area and then i'm gonna corner this minus 100 to this side 50 to the up let's make this uh, 100 pixel wide and then actually let's move this oops to the right like that maybe 210 pixels cool now i have an info uh, uh text area i have a text area and the button i'm gonna call this uh send so we know what that button is now i'm gonna go to my game object to my text to speech and add references to this uh, input field and the send button so let's go here I had the audio source serialize object serialize field serialize private button let's call this just button and input field input field thank you github copilot what I want to do is I'm not gonna uh, run the thing right after uh, in start I'll just cut this what I want to do is I'm gonna button on click add listener and my listener will be a new method let's call this public or um, private void um, make request I'm not really um, creative with the method names this was called make audio request this is make request uh, you can pick whatever you like not to confuse them and I pasted the make audio request uh, code in there uh, the reason I'm not uh, using this directly because it has a parameter this does, shouldn't have a parameter and this is it on start we are gonna bind the button and on make request I'm gonna make the request however I do not want to send this text and I want to actually send input fields text so whatever we typed in the screen is going to be in there all right let's get rid of that cool now we need to set these two items in the inspector so let's drag and drop the button let's drag and drop the input field everything is set i'm gonna run this and let's say let's test oculus lip sync with amazon poly on a ready player me avatar and i'm sending this let's test oculus lip sync with amazon poly on a ready player me avatar yep this is how it works so it is not Im as immersive as this um, you know like ar kit blend shapes and ar kit face animations but still gives you a good starting point if you are aiming something in the middle vrchat uses this many oculus applications obviously um, use this library and it is something good to go on with in your games using ready player avatars because it already has oculus vsm blend shape support so we pretty much have everything set and next video i'm planning to go back to smart npc project we were working on and actually carry all these uh, small implementations with it and keep working on that project from now on thank you so much for watching and see you next video